from flyweight championship turmoil to Gilbert Burns on his big Hamzat wrist to Fabricio Verdum's next move. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on the latest fight news. Let's get to it. 1. Davidson Figueredo says Brandon Moreno's team's racist comments is prompting him to call out Kai Kara France for title fight. Current flyweight champion Davidson Figueredo is calling out Kai Kara France after the New Zealander's big win over this past weekend against Askar Askarov at UFC Columbus. Kara France came away the victor after three hard fought rounds against the highly tutored flyweight Askarov and he called for a title shot or to be a backup for a potential clash later this year. But Figueredo is now making it clear that he's personally going to pick to fight Kara France over a potential fourth clash against former champion Brandon Moreno and it's all due to racist comments made by someone from Moreno's team. This is what the Brazilian stated in an Instagram post directed at UFC President Dana White. Dear at Dana White, I just wanted to say thank you for the opportunities that you have given me, my family, and my country. You know that I would fight anybody, anytime, and anywhere. That being said, I wanted to fight Brandon Moreno for the fourth time because I know this is what the fans want until his team crossed the line with racist comments, calling me a monkey and even going to the extent of photoshopping a monkey's face on top of mine. You know what I'm talking about at Raul underscore Entram. When all this happened, I went on a campaign to stop racism and prejudice in my city where it is predominantly Indians and Blacks. As the UFC champion of the world, I ask you to consider my wish. I wish to fight the next contender in line at Kai Kara France, who has earned his spot. Hashtag stop the racism. Hashtag we are one. Reports say that Figueredo was referencing recent social media posts made by UFC bantamweight Marcelo Rojo, a training partner of Moreno's and one of his cornermen. In those posts, which were made back in June 2021, Rojo made references to Figueredo being a monkey. Since then, Rojo has publicly issued an apology over the depiction and stated he quote, he did not know that was a real offense to the Brazilian people. The UFC had been working on putting on a fourth fight between Brandon Moreno and Davison Figueredo, possibly in July in Las Vegas. Both men have one win over the other after their first fight ended in a draw. What do you think about Figueredo calling out Moreno's team over racist remarks? And would you prefer Figueredo take on Moreno instead of Car France? Let us know in the comments below. 2. Gilbert Burns wants a title fight and will take a gamble against Hamza Shemaev. As a former title challenger, Brazil's Gilbert Burns knows exactly what he has to do to get back into the title shot contention. He's already faced a champion and came up short in February 2021 against Kamaru Usman, losing by TKO in the third round. But since then, he's bounced back with a dominant decision victory over Steven Wonderboy Thompson, another former title challenger just last year at UFC 260. I have two objectives in the UFC. The first is fight against the toughest in the division, and the second is become champion, Burns told MMA Junkie in Spanish. And to be champion, you need to fight against whoever. I'm not going to be picking and choosing, oh, I want this one, I want that one. No, whoever the UFC puts in front of me, I'll fight. I wanted to fight with Kobe, but he had a fight, so Hamza was the only one that wanted to fight. I know he's a big risk and he's number 11 and very tough, but if I want to be champion, I need to fight everyone. I'm following the example of Glover Texera and Charles Oliveira. I need to fight everyone. He's tough and a big risk, but I still want to fight him. What do you think about Burns' reasoning for taking on Hamza? And who do you have your money on for this fight? Let us know in the comments below. Before we get to our next story, take a second to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest fight news. 3. Former heavyweight champion Fabricio Verdum talks retirement. A world-class martial artist and a former UFC heavyweight champion, Fabricio Verdum has nothing left to prove in his long and storied career and recently hinted that he's not only done with the PFL, but he's considering hanging up the gloves for good. Verdum was thought to be in the PFL's upcoming 2022 heavyweight roster after signing a deal with the organization back in 2021. But when the rosters finally came out this week, Verdum wasn't anyone near it. But now, in a Portuguese language YouTube channel AG Fight, Verdum announced that not only is he out of the PFL, but he's also considering retirement. This is what he stated. But talking about MMA, I think it's hard for me to come back because it's more dedication staying two, three months in the United States, and I'm living in Brazil for a year and three months now. If there's a boxing match, I'd do it. To sum it up, boxing, yes. MMA, no. It would need to be an out-of-this-world offer to make me stop doing 
what I've been doing right now. Later in the interview, Verdum announced that he also decided not to take a deal with the UFC. Verdum has only fought one time for the PFL, a May 2021 bout against Hanan Ferreira which ended in controversial fashion with Verdum claiming Ferreira faked a tap. That result was overturned by the New Jersey Athletic Commission to a no contest. Verdum won the undisputed UFC heavyweight title over Cain Velasquez in Mexico in 2015 and has massive victories over fellow top tier heavyweights Mark Hunt, Big Nog, Alexander Gustafsson, and Velasquez. Well, what do you think about Verdum considering retirement? Let us know in the comments below. There's always so much going on in the fight world, and we got it all here for you on MMA Rumor. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to keep updated with all things MMA. Thanks for watching.